Hello and welcome to Dishing the Lights. My name is Jenica and today we're going to be continuing on with the January Pantry Challenge and bake up some sweet treats. Let's get into it. So while we let our butter soften for our cookies, I am going to make these can't leave alone bars. Okay, it says preheat the oven to 350. Now I need to combine two eggs, the cake mix, and a third cup of oil. All right, I have this Betty Cracker cake mix. There is the cake mix. And then I also need two eggs. Then I'm just gonna mix this up. All right, now this is a crumb bottom. It's supposed to be the crust. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring you over to the stove. Now I am supposed to add a half cup of butter. So what I did there is I added a half of a cup of butter or one stick. And then I also added in a can of sweetened condensed milk and some chocolate chips, one cup of them. So I'm going to set this aside now that it's melted. Now I'm going to take about half of this. And I guess I'm supposed to lay it along. Is that like a piece of flour? Supposed to set this down as the crust. I'm not exactly sure how this is supposed to work. <laughs> I guess we'll see. This is out of an Amish cookbook that I have. I'm supposed to pour this chocolate mixture over that crust. Now I'm not sure how I'm gonna scrape all this out, so I'm just gonna take this cookie scoop, scrape down the sides. And then it says spoon dollops onto the chocolate layer. Don't you hate when a recipe does not have a picture so you're just guessing what you're gonna do? All right, now it says to bake at 350, and it says to do that for 35 to 40 minutes. I mean, they don't look bad, actually. So I guess I'm gonna let these cool, and I'll check in on them in just a few minutes. So here are the bars. Now I did not grease this baking pan because apparently I'm an amateur. Oh wow, these actually turned out way better than I thought they were going to. Mmm, these are different, they're good. It's almost like a soft graham cracker, but with chocolate. It's like chocolate and ooey and gooey. These are actually really good. I'll have to see what my husband thinks of these. Now this recipe was called Can't Leave Them Alone Bars. So I'll try to see if I can find a similar one 
and link it down below. But this is from an Amish cookbook and this Amish chapter is based in Florida. I collect Amish cookbooks. And this is one that I found at a thrift store, I believe. Now I have some margarine that needs to be used up, but I have this on hand, so I am going to, but I am going to just use the recipe that's on the back of the box. And I'm going to double that. Take three sticks. Now that is one and one third cup of brown sugar and a quarter cup of regular sugar. Now let's mix these together. Now I'm going to add in one and a half teaspoons of vanilla. Forgot I was doubling this for a second. Two eggs. One teaspoon of baking soda. I'm gonna mix these up. All right, now I'm going to mix in my four cups of flour. All right, I slowly added in that flour. I'm just gonna mix it a little bit right now. Then we're gonna add in the chocolate chips. I'm just gonna make sure I scrape the bowl and there's not any pockets of flour at the bottom. Ooh, I did not know that these were mini chocolate chips. So now I'm gonna add in some regular chocolate chips. All right, we're just going to toss in a bunch of different chocolate chips in here. We've got some regular, some dark chocolate, and some semi-sweet mini. But I have three bags out of my pantry. See, we're making progress here. We're getting rid of some flour, we're getting rid of some chocolate chips. All right. All right, I think that's enough from the mixer. <laughs> All right, now let's get this cookie dough off of this beater, and then we'll get to making some cookies. So the reason that I doubled this recipe is because we are going to freeze some. What I'm going to do is just scoop out the cookies and I'm going to bake half of these and freeze half. Now what I'm going to do with these is I'm just going to set these in the freezer and once they're frozen, I'll transfer them into a freezer safe bag. All right, there's our cookies. I don't want them overcooked. So they look like really underdone on camera, but that's because of this light that I have right here. These have been in the freezer for a couple hours now. So what we're going to do is just place them in a freezer bag and then you can just cook these up whenever you'd like to.
And now I'm just gonna set these in my freezer for a later date. And now I'm gonna bake up some peanut butter cookies. So I need two and two thirds cup of flour. So that's 360 grams, perfect. And then I need one and one half teaspoon baking soda. And I need one teaspoon of baking powder. I also need a half teaspoon of salt. And I'm going to whisk this dry mixture together and then I'll set this aside. And then we'll get to our mixer. In this bowl I need one cup of butter, one cup of brown sugar, and one cup of regular sugar. We'll cream that in our mixer. All right, now I'm trying to measure peanut butter out. I need one and a half cups. All right, there's one and a half cups of peanut butter. Now while this is going, I'm going to add in two eggs and three teaspoons of vanilla extract. All right, now I'm going to slowly add in the flour mixture. All right, I am so excited for these. I'm going to let it mix like 30 more seconds. These smell amazing. I'm getting better at taking that off the stand. Okay, I just heard the oven go off, so we are going to get our cookies ready. Now I have my baked cookie scoop. Now I'm going to take my fork and I'm gonna squish them down. I don't wanna flatten them all the way. Now my oven is ready, I'm going to bake these. Now I'm going to bake these one sheet at a time for nine minutes. Yum. Mm. I mean, these are peanut butter cookies. You can't get better than that. Mm. Thank you so much for watching this baking video. If you like this video, please feel free to hit the like button. Make sure that you're subscribed and hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I upload my next video. Thank you so much for watching.